This week we're going to talk about how God kept his promise to Paul. Say it with me. Trust God. He keeps his promises. Sometime after Paul had been in Athens, he said, I need to go to the city of Rome and tell people about Jesus there. You see, Rome at the time was the a most important city in the world. Caesar, the powerful ruler of the Roman Empire, lived there. It could be a dangerous place for Paul to go to, but because of God's love for him, Paul also loved the people of Rome and wanted to tell them about Jesus. He knew that God the Holy Spirit would protect him. But it took Paul a long time to get to Rome. And let's hear what happened. So everywhere Paul went, he told the story of how God had saved him. Remember when Paul's life changed when he encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus? He wanted to tell the good news about Jesus to everyone. When we talk about the good news or the gospel, we are talking about how you know we are all sinners and we do things that um, goes against God. Things that we think, say, or do that displeases God are, is sin, and all sin is against God. But um, the good news is that Jesus came to earth to uh, save us from our sin. If we believe on Jesus and we um, accept him as our savior, that we believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again from the dead after three days, then we can have that forever friendship with God. And this friendship is not just on earth, but in heaven and it's for eternity. And Paul wanted everyone to know this truth. So um, instead of going to Rome just yet, Paul headed back to Jerusalem to meet with the church there. But while he was in Jerusalem, the, pe uh, the Jewish people um, there were really angry that Paul was preaching about Jesus and they had him arrested. Um, and that night when Paul was arrested, he had a very special visitor visit him. It was Jesus. Jesus appeared to him and said, Take courage, as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. You see, Paul wanted to go to Rome, but it was also God wanting Paul to go to Rome to testify about, to tell people about Jesus to the people in Rome. Um, but you remember I, we just said how Paul was arrested? Paul was a prisoner for two years, and it took him two years while he waited to set sail to go to Rome but God had not forgotten his promise. So after two years, finally, Paul set sail to Rome to go before Caesar. Now, when Paul was going, he was still a prisoner um, when he left. And back then, it, you know, it took a long time to travel to places and you have to make several stops along the journey. And it was almost winter time when they decided to go, which is a very bad timing to go sailing. Lots of storms would come and it would be very dangerous. Paul knew it was a bad idea to continue sailing at this time of the year. He told the centurion, the guard in charge of the prisoners, um, that it would be damaging to the ship, that people would get hurt. Now, do you think the centurion listened to Paul? Probably not. He listened to the owner of the ship, who probably told him it was okay, and they set sail. Um, but Paul, even though it probably would have been scary, he trusted that God would get him to Rome safely to see Caesar. At first, the journey went well. The wind was blowing them along, but then suddenly a storm came up. The sailors tried to keep the ship on the right, on the right course, but soon they lost control and the wind tossed the ship around in the sea. By the third day, they realized they all might die. They threw everything they could overboard, um, but that didn't help. As the waves tossed the ship, the crew realized there was very little chance that they would survive. Would Paul make it to Rome? How would God keep his promise? Would people on the ship be saved? To find out the rest of the story, go to the Hope Church website to watch part two. And remember, God keeps his promises.